Hey everybody, Bradley Sven9 here, back with another video for you. This one, a lot of people have been asking me for a free install of iPogo. You may have seen my video on the 3 U tools method to install iPogo for free. That one's been one of my most successful videos, and I've loved all the comments on there. I've started to realize there's lots of BS out there on the internet, at least YouTube, when it comes to spoofing and information that just doesn't work for people and I've read the comments and there's just tons of good comments just want you to know I appreciate it and I'm never gonna steer you wrong so here we go this one's a side loady install method so we'll be using side loady to install iPogo onto your device using your PC for free so let's get into it okay so similar to 3 U tools there will be a few things you have to download to be ready to do this and then there's gonna be like the set of steps that I'll show you and that you'll have to do every week to redo the process that's just how it works if you want to get it installed for free and use yourself as a signer on your Apple device you're gonna have to just redo this every week which is pretty easy simple process once you figure it out and I'll show you how to easily do it here so to start off we're gonna have to download iPogo so you're gonna have to go to the internet You just type in ipogo.app and then just hit download IPA. So download the most recent IPA. So if there's a new version of iPogo out, you're going to have to do this again when you reinstall it. Or if you hit the option where you're playing Pokemon and then it says you have to update and won't let you play, you're going to have to delete it and then redo this process with a new IPA. So make sure it's downloaded can go into downloads and I'm just gonna drag it onto the desktop here to make it easy to drag into the side loading once we have it downloaded so that's first step we got the IPA download now to get side loady okay so it looks like it's on a website called Silzy slash side loady so as you can see if you Remember all the way back to my Cydia Impactor video, the first one? That was the original way to do it. So it's similar to that. So we're going to hit download side loady. And we're going to open it up. Next. 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 Install, whatever. Sounds good to me. So now we're going to hit run. So now we got the IPA and side, lo side loady downloaded. Easy peasy, see? It's already there. And then one more thing you're going to need. You probably already have it, but if you don't, go download iTunes. So, because you're, you're going to need to use your Apple ID. And then before we get into the nitty gritty here, you're going to want to turn off any VPN that you have running. You don't have to delete it. Just turn it off while you're doing it. Now, if you're worried about your Apple device, or your Apple ID, I should say, you can create a new one for this. That will work, but it's not necessary. I don't do it. You're also going to have to make sure to delete any other version of Pokemon Go on your device. So if you have the original app downloaded, or a different iPogo, or a different spoofing, whatever it is, if it says Pokemon Go, take it off, or else you won't be able to put it on. You won't be able to put the new one on, I should say. So we're going to remove that, delete that, delete, there we go. And now when you use your Apple ID, you will need to use two-factor authentication if you have that turned on. So it will prompt you to do that. So we'll also go through that eventually once we get there. But those are all the things you need to know before we get into the nitty gritty. So have iPogo IPA. Have Side Loady downloaded and iTunes downloaded. So now that we have that, we're going to get into the steps one to seven here. And it should be easy peasy. And this is, this is what you'll do every week. And then you can just come to this point in the video if you forget and do steps one to seven. Bingo, you're back rocking again. So let's get down to it. Okay, so now for the easy part. So you see those steps over there. One to seven. That's what we're going to do here. So pretty easy steps. And it should be within five minutes get iPogo onto your device for free. So let's do it. So number one, plug your device into your computer. Pretty basic stuff. Get a charger cord, plug it in your computer, plug it into your device. 
You may have to unlock it to use it. There we go, once your device is connected, you'll see in this little section here, it'll show a device there. So number two is open side loading, but you could already have it open, it doesn't need to be number two. Number three, enter your Apple ID. So now we got the device and the Apple account on there. So now, since I put that iPogo on the desktop for this reason, drag it onto that section there, it shows a little IPA, and then hit start. It'll ask you for your Apple ID password. So this is where the two-factor authentication will come in. You'll have to allow it on your device here. It'll give you a code, type it in. And now you can see it's doing all the good stuff here. So if you don't have two-factor authentication on, you wouldn't have had to done that last part, it would have just accepted your password and started signing. So as you can see here, signing means it's putting the app onto your device, signing it for you. And now we wait until this is done, and once it's done, our next steps will be on the device itself. And there we go, eventually it'll be done. That only took about a minute or two for it to fully install onto the device. So now I'll mirror my device onto the computer here and show you exactly what I'm doing. All right, so there you go, you can see my phone here. So now you see Pokemon Go is actually installed there. That is iPogo. But before we can open it, it won't let you open it. Untrusted, blah, 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 it'll tell you that. So you're gonna have to go into settings, step seven here. This is pretty common if you've ever downloaded an installer or iPogo. You're gonna have to do this regularly, so you probably already know this. You're gonna go to settings, then you go down to general. Device management. Profiles and device management. And then you'll see your email there. Whatever Apple ID that you used, it'll be under developer app. You tap it, hit trust. Trust yourself. If anything goes wrong, it's all on you. So now that it's trusted, you should be able to open iPogo. And voila, let's see. All right, it opened. And just to show you that it's not an original app and I'm not bullshitting you, it is iPogo. Now yeah, you could allow it, whatever. There you go. You see it? Now you could go into settings and sign in. You could upload your settings. That yeah, will allow it, whatever. You're going to have to allow your location, anyways. Then you can go into settings, activate VIP, check all that stuff out. There will be other videos on the app itself and how to shundo hunt and things like that. But as far as install goes, bingo, bango, bongo, you got iPogo again for free, nice and quick. It's even easier than the 3U tools method. So shout out to all the people who commented and watched that video and used that. Here's the new one, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. If you got or run into any problems, snags, throw it in the comments. Even if I can't get to you or don't know how to answer your question, someone else will run into the issue and know how to answer your question. That's what I love about the comment section. There's actually a lot of helpful people in there. A lot of YouTube videos and stuff have really toxic comment sections, but they're actually pretty decent over here. So shout out to all the good people out there. Thanks for watching my video. Hope to see you in my other videos and have fun out there, everybody. Peace.